所在，我难学习，想把难学习也来过来学习来，也来重视那一些在，他们这那些上学。
Now, first of all, I will continue from where I left off this morning. Lamma Mugu Tenet there are four factors for devotion to become the path. First, Buddha Jana had lost faith in Manjushri upon seeing that he was a householder with a wife, and this caused an obstacle preventing Buddha Jana from attaining Supreme City. Similarly, if you see the Guru as having faults, the impurity of your own mind stream is to blame. How could Buddhas have any faults? Let them do what they will. Even should you see them having sexual relations, telling lies, and so on, Meditate thinking, this is the best way to train disciples. Because of this, he will undoubtedly ripen and liberate many sentient beings. So this is a hundred, a thousand times more marvelous than keeping a pure moral code. He is not being deceptive or immoral. He alone is unmistaken about the highest conduct. In particular, when he reprimands you, think that this extinguishes bad karma. If he slaps you, think he is driving away spirits and obstructors. Above all, think that due to his compassion, he is treating you as a father would a child and not being a false friend. He is very kind. If he seems displeased or does not pay attention to you, think that this is because your karmic obscurations have not been purified. Strive at the methods to purify your obscurations and please the guru by serving his body, speech, and mind. In brief, the first factor is not finding fault with the guru. Second, in the words of the Kaji forefathers, this authentic guru is precious. Everything he does is excellent. All of his deeds are qualities. Even were he an executioner, just that would be beneficial, just that would be good. It's certain he regards beings with compassion. Even if he displays sexual misconduct and immorality, his qualities increase, his qualities arise. It is sign of the union of means and prajna. When he deceives others with lies, he is guiding all beings on the path to liberation through various symbolic methods. When he steals, seizes, or robs, he trans transforms others' things into the accumulations and pacifies the poverty of beings. 
In actuality, when such a guru reprimands you, it is a wrathful mantra, certain to dispel misfortunes and obstacles. If he beats you, it is a blessing. All siddhas arise from that. All those with devotion take delight. As this says, recognize that whatever he does is a positive quality. This is the second. Third, when meditating on devotion for the guru, forget being concerned about whether you're pleasing him or not in this life. Do not even harbor hopes about whether or not you will achieve the supreme city. Whether he accepts you with compassion or not, whether you achieve city or not, there is nothing for you to do other than to have devotion. Resolve to stop expecting or worrying. This is the third. Fourth, in the secular conduct, in secular context, upstanding people are able to do anything for their bosses publicly, privately, and in between. That is for this life, for the sake of a few months or years. But if we place our hopes in our gurus from now until we achieve enlightenment, uh, whatever of goodness and happiness that arise, uh, arises in this life, the next or in between, whether uh, great or small, it is solely the guru's kindness. Whatever spiritual qualities you develop depend only upon the guru. So focus all your actions of body, speech, and mind on serving him. With everything from your prayers for the guru to live long and for, and for his activity to flourish on up, never be without an amenable and admiring attitude. If you serve your guru with such attitudes, there is no way that your being will not be ripened. Jorola Kadi Kemebership, Lamala for the training, everything is contained within two things. Accomplish whatever the Guru commands and do whatever he wishes. With your body, prostrate, circumambulate, write letters, sew, run errands, or at the very least fetch water and sweep up. With your speech, recite prayers and praises to him and tell others about his qualities. Answer questions in a way that pleases him and speak gently and respectfully without concealing your intentions. Do not speak even half a critical word about an openly or in private. In your mind, cultivate devotion and pure view only, without falling into mistaken views for even an instant. Should something disagreeable happen to you due to bad karma arising and so forth, immediately catch it with mindfulness and never express it physically or verbally. If due to previous bad karma you inadvertently go against his wishes, make your confession more intense by offering your body and possessions along with it. Exert yourself at confessing and vowing to refrain from repeating it by reciting the hundred syllables, amendment and confession offerings, and so forth. It is inappropriate to get along with, eat with, or even have conversations in affectionate manner with those who go against your guru's wishes. It is taught that befriending those who demean your guru is no different from demeaning him yourself even if you do not do so in actuality. Materially, we should offer without reservation our gurus the things that we treasure, whatever would please him. 
but we call for ourselves the biggest and finest things that serve our purposes, be they horses, cattle, and whatnot, and offer the guru that which does not suit us. We give ourselves a high title and ask for whatever empowerment, storm, and root uh, instructions are the most sacred. If it does not quite work out, we scowl with displeasure. We try to make him feel grateful to us. We have no gratitude for the dharma and key instructions he is able to grant us, but say we have done him a favor by requesting teachings and listening to him. Not understanding that offering the guru possessions and services for our own good, we try to show off and gain status. It would be far better to just stay away by ourselves than to do anything like that. Once you have developed true devotion, the signs of having received the blessings will occur in actuality, as experiences or in dreams as explained in the texts. Specifically, when the appearances of the eight worldly concerns disappear, you put this life out of mind. The clear and empty mind arises nakedly and, and realization suddenly arises. These are the greatest true signs. Whether or not you develop the meditation of the actual practice depends on this, so do not reach impatiently for calm abiding and instant insight. Instead, lay a firm foundation of good qualities in your being. <laughs> That completes the uh, instructions on Guru Yoga that are found in the Torch of True Meaning. Following this, there are the uh, instructions on the main practice. Now, actually, the main practice is really taught in the ocean Mahamudra, the ocean of definitive meaning. And so what is taught here uh, is like a distillation or a synthesis of that. Uh, but it is not necessary to go over it now. Dandona. Dinalolia,Chilamegol ただで Now here, there are uh, many things that were said about the topic of the Lama, uh, many things about how to meditate upon Guru Yoga. But actually, there are different types of individuals. There are different capacities of individuals. In particular, there are those people who uh, are appropriate vessels who are capable of practicing the secret mantra Vajrayana. For such people, uh, they, should, uh, they should be able to practice just as that, and they definitely should try to practice uh, just as taught in the text, particularly all the special instructions that are given in the text. But I think that it is difficult for everyone to be able to follow all of, uh, to be able to do exactly as is written in this text. And I don't think that this text even says that it's necessary to do that. Uh, and I think this is an important point to understand. Mm -hmm. だんだんなるれや無理ランドドレイキ年が死つんどは単語でえ、え、ラメ君メトバ。にばって人生を出るしや。すんばって、ジャドンゴベタシュイタンデマ。しばって、あね、え、あ、あざ。Nishebe, somebody made Jawas. That is Ninga Shisuna. 
In particular, there are four, th uh, four points here that are talked about, uh, four points for taking devotion as the path. The first of these is not thinking of the Guru's faults. The second is to see that everything he does is, a po is positive. Uh, the third is to give up uh, expectations or worries uh, and to have great resolve. And the fourth is to uh, always have an amenable and admiring attitude. So the first of these is not, uh, not thinking of the Guru's fault. So this is the first of these four points. And as I mentioned before, uh, first of all, when we are searching for a Guru, we need to see what their qualities and faults are. Soetrelia, for one thing, uh, the actual way things are, the actual way human life is, and what, are, what is taught in the texts are different. Uh, and uh, for what is taught to be taught, at, you know, to find a guru as is taught in the texts uh, is something that we just can't really expect. It's not really what we can find in this life. It would be difficult to be, find someone like that. Uh, because people are not wholly positive or wholly negative. There's no one who is 100% positive or 100% uh, uh, negative. Everyone has got a mixture of faults and qualities. So when we are looking for a guru, if we think to, if we try to find someone who is categorically, exa categorically, exactly as taught in the text, who has all of the qualities and who has none of the faults, if we think of, uh, think that we need that type of person, it's fine, hard, to, hard to find it. It's not like we can take the text in our hands and go looking for the guru and compa uh, comparing with the text. It's not like we can go looking for the, for the guru and you've got the list from the text and we go, so he's got this one, he's got that one. We can't go and do that one. Uh, 
Tadi be kajo e tachi do be yuenden sosugi rewa jabana shi yuenden su mato be kyun tsan me de yo shi tsadrati expectation shu chambu tam sha tsan di di shu che ta wi na kale to nge sa lya kashi yongu do di di pana ragu min do sange de de kashi yongu do ta koran su カルチェネレシラブスタネタジェワチェタタデディジゴウエスタテンジュソソリアタドゥロンルチャシミナタベチテレベケシュセナンダティユエンディエンディティティベチェロトタチェタデチェトタチェンドサデディジファジタファジティ
For example, when bees are collecting nectar from flowers, then each bee knows exactly what they're supposed to do. They know exactly what they need to get. They go to the flower and they do their, and they do their job uh, perfectly. They don't do anything else. They know exactly what, it is, what their aim is and what their task is. Lamat So here it's like it's as if the, the guru is like the flower. And the qualities in the in the Buddha's mind or the qualities in the Guru's mind are um, are like the nourishment or the the, the, or the captivating qualities the Guru's the Guru has are, are what we need to get. They're like the nectar. Uh, and so we need to be able to actually retrieve that nectar, the captiva captivating qualities of the Guru. And when bees look for flowers, it's, it, uh, there's no question of what color the flower is. It doesn't matter if the flower is white or red. The bees don't really care. What they do is they go to the flower. It doesn't matter uh, the flower that has nectar. It doesn't matter whether the flower is beautiful or not. Uh, it just, what's most important is that the flower has the nectar that they need. And so it's like we need to think about this sort of like, like a business enterprise. You need to go and extract what is profitable and leave the rest. Lamaji and so what do we say, we don't think, of, we should not think about the, the Guru's uh, faults. This is basically how we should understand it. Often it's said that the Guru has incredible qualities. Uh, but when we uh, have a guru, one guru, the, the guru is an ordinary individual. They're only ordinary individuals. We aren't able to serve gurus who are Buddhas or Bodhisattvas. And so when you have someone like a, a, guru, a, a spiritual master who's an ordinary individual like us, uh, then we need to uh, be able to understand them uh, in this life. We need to be able to realize what about them is it that's going to give us an opportunity or be profitable for us. Uh, and so that way we need to uh, become close to them and create a, a mutual connection with them. That's <laughs> So that is the first point, and that first point is looking at it in a negative way. It's uh, uh, not thinking about the faults of the guru. The second is thinking in a positive way, uh, thinking about uh, or seeing everything the guru does as being a quality. 
ยืนเดินดูเสียบ่ตะนี่ดูสานะอันนี้ตะกันดูสลาวเลยเอ่อลามเมกกันดูสิเจ็บอีเนี่ยเทเลอ่ะซื้อกี่เอ่อขัดร
Donna Jin Susugi, Donna Mugu Chadi, Rangi, Langi and Ruchirang, and a Rangi Chawajimba, Nijung Zin Chaja, and a day Kasu Rangi Langi, I will do Chawadi, Kesum Chadi or Madabe, and Susu Mugu Chadi, Lamegi, Kasu Lamegi, Lamal Den Chunga, Mugu Yavisha, the Major Mugu Mavis, the Nicham, maybe. So we shouldn't have expectations with our deva a devotion. It shouldn't be like we expect that we're going to get something immediately uh, because of have, having devotions. We have huge expectations. We place huge hopes on, on, our, uh, on, our, on our devotion. And it's sort of like we are expecting, uh, it's, we're treating it as if it were some sort of a business or some sort of a deal. But that's not what it's like. Instead, we should think, uh, we should recognize that uh, our own devotion uh, is actually our own responsibility. It's our own task that we need to do. And we need to uh, recognize that that is what we need to, uh, to nurture, and that is what we need to do. Another, uh, it shouldn't be as if our devotion is something where if the Lama treats us in one way, then we have devotion, and if the Lama treats us in another way, we don't. <laughs> Missy and when we have devotion for the Guru, the devotion is not just for a single lifetime. The devotion is from lifetime after lifetime, from birth after birth. So when we say that it's for, from lifetime to lifetime, or life after life, then, uh, then this is like there's no hope. It's too far off. It's so far off that there's no hope for it anyway, anymore. And so we have to have a hope that is without any expectation. Uh, and so in this way, we need to release ourselves from the bind, from the bonds of hope and fear. The fourth is that we should always have an amenable and admiring attitude. So we need to admire, we need to always have a pure, a, a, a pure exceptional attitude towards the Guru. We always need to have a, a, a purely positive mind, a, a, a way of thinking about the Guru. Uh, in other words, we always need to have a, a loving attitude towards the Guru. <laughs> Jore kwana lama tenda sundu sane ta tele ya chisung chisung dubatan tulo gomba chi cheba sa tina na maduba meso so these are the way we uh, we need to consider this is the our, our attitude the second is in terms of our actions the actions means that uh, whatever the we may need to uh, do whatever the uh, guru commands and we need to accomplish whatever the guru wishes and so there is nothing that is not included within these two. Primarily, the relationship between the guru and the disciple is a dharma relationship. 
Uh, if the guru gives a command, a worldly, it tells you to do something worldly, then you don't do it, then it's probably okay. But uh, when, you, uh, when it's a dharma thing, if the guru teaches you an oral instruction, and then you practice that instruction, then at that point you can really develop the connection between the guru and the, uh, the, guru and the disciple. At that point, you re uh, the student really becomes that guru's student, and the guru really becomes that student's teacher. And this is what really makes the connection. Uh, and so for this reason, uh, uh, when we say that you must do, uh, do whatever the guru commands, this, is pri this means that we, it is really important for us to practice the dharma pro uh, that the guru teaches us properly. <laughs> Chushing. In particular, if we do not uh, do the Dharma practices, uh, any of the Dharma practices that the Guru teaches us, then it will be difficult for us to really follow the Guru from lifetime after lifetime. It will be difficult to have that uh, real connection with the Guru. The, the connection with the Guru is one that needs to span many lifetimes. Uh, and if we uh, don't have that sort of Dharma connection, then there's no way we'll be able to follow the Guru into the next life. Where we end up will not make any uh, difference. If we don't have that connection, then it doesn't matter how close we are to the Guru physically or, or whether we follow the Guru wherever the, the Guru goes. We need, to, uh, if we don't have that connection of doing the practices the Guru tells us to do. Since we need to have a connection that will cover, that will extend from lifetime to lifetime over multiple lifetimes, there's no other way to develop this than by doing the Dharma practice. Uh, and so I think that um, if we are able to practice the Dharma, the, the Dharma that the Guru teaches us to us, then we will, only then will we be able to develop a really good connection that will last for multiple lifetimes. <laughs> And so that completes that. Now, uh, today and tomorrow, there are actually quite a few people who are leaving uh, and who will not be able to receive the full instructions. So now I'd like to give the transmission, the Lung transmission of the four session Guru Yoga. Mananga 
ラムドリジェカナモカラジネドリブザロエデリニバジドルバンナルモドドロジェカナモカラジネドリブザロエデリニバジドルバンナルモイジカノラモカラジネドリブザロエデリニバジドルバンナルモイジカノラモカラジネ
Now the text for the four session guru yoga pro, uh, 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 for the four session guru yoga actually we had a little mistake. The printer made a mistake in printing it. We had ordered over a thousand copies, but the printer made a mistake and only sent a hundred. So they've been they are sending uh, Chinese the, for the Chinese version. Uh, so they they are sending the Chinese version, uh, and it should be here soon. We might have to do a divination to find out. Um, in general, though, we have translated the four session guru yoga into ten, ten different languages. And the Namjungazu Chagasin now, the, the, we also have a collection of commentaries on the four session Guru Yoga. These co uh, commentaries include some commentaries that many are familiar with and some that, some are, uh, that people are not familiar with. For example, there are, is the supplement to the four session Guru Yoga by the ninth Karmapa Wangchuk Dorje. This is a text that we'd heard about. It's mentioned in the instructions by Karma Chakma Rinpoche, but we could probably pretty safely say that there's no one here who has ever seen that text. But a few years ago, I was a, we were able to get a copy of that, and so this uh, is included in the collection of commentaries. Likewise, there is a discussion, or there, is an, there are instructions on the uh, stages of Mahamudra practice uh, that one should do at the conclusion of the four session Guru Yoga. This is written by the, fifth, the omniscient fifth Shama Rupache, uh, and that is also included here. And so, uh, this collection of commentaries includes some that people are familiar with and some that people are not familiar with. And we have translated this into a couple of different languages. Uh, and uh, so for that reason, even if you are not able to get a, a there's some of you might not be able to receive books here. Uh, but as I mentioned before, we are starting a new website. Uh, and on this website, there will be the instructions for the four session Guru Yoga, as well as the text of the four session Guru Yoga. And I will introduce that website now. <laughs> Tushila Practice 
대방 무시비지 양기 토야 가라가 부르시도와 세상 대수의 내 지난을 주 다음에 신기 슝제 망부지 슝대 따지 그에게 지당 까띵 유르기 나는 까띵 유르 상마샤 토야 가라가 부르래 주입 소도야 가라가 부르래 이내 까띵 유르기 나는 가시에 수 커도 충리 디난 추 가시지 개세세야 가시 추 뉴시 디난 주가로 두 세야래 안다는 신기 벽 추규 가게 이세디수 디난 주가 세야래 안다는 소베 벽이 아주 쉬운 기 빼서 디난 가시 망고지 디난 주가 세다 마시 디난 그 장수 신비나 안 장수 도래 레린 일이 지령에 쉬고 삼도 양결지 때는 어디 양결지 때는 가자. 마트에만 대신 아이 엄마도 집으로 계셔야 한다. Now on this website currently we just have a few texts. Uh, we are uh, uploading more texts, but at this point we only have a few. There are the four session guru yoga texts, and then we are gradually uh, adding other books. We have the Kaju Mundam books, and we are gradually making uh, e-books of the Kaju Mundam books. We have them in 15 or so languages. We'd like to add them all to the, uh, to the website. Similarly, there are many practice texts that, uh, that might be difficult to, for, uh, to find, practices that will, uh, texts that will help us with instructions in our practice. Sometimes these are difficult to get, and so they will also be put on the website. Also, we are uh, adding commentaries on important, on important philosophical texts. Uh, it's put, making e-books and putting the entire conjure and tenure on the website is a bit difficult, uh, but we will select a few and uh, select a few of the most important texts and put them up there. We also plan to uh, add books of various, uh, from very, uh, some of the texts from various different Tibetan traditions, as well as books about Tibetan culture and so forth. Now you can all visit the site and see for yourself what is there. Uh, I don't think I need to explain every single thing that is up there. And the 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 so the Kushtar Kushtar thing get tricked is no matter. The hard hard way Kushtar thing the Mac side or the and then iPad side, iPhone side. This is another Android side. And then the Windows. Android and then the Kingdom, this is not a better to use it. You know, the Kashi and Alolea, Korangi Lega Jassi Jatamba, Kang Yavi, the Lega Chatan, Chetu Yeme, Hagumdo. Now, these e books uh, can all be read on the, on, uh, the hardware from the Apple company. Uh, the Macintosh and the iPads and iPhones and so forth. It also works on Windows and on Androids and on Kindles as well. It works on all of these, but on some of them you might not be able to use all, uh, you know, 100% all of the features. Um, Recording, 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 and In particular, with the four session guru yoga, uh, with guru yoga uh, e-books, uh, they have the recording in there, a recording of the root, root that I, of the uh, four session guru yoga. Uh, and this is a, a recording that I made. I, 
of the entire text uh, of the Guru Yoga. I read the text from beginning to end and we've recorded it and it's included in the four session Guru Yoga text. And I think that this will help you. You can read the text of the four session Guru Yoga as you listen to the recording. Also, there are some people who are learning Tibetan who are interested in studying Tibetan and it will be helpful for them to, uh, to listen to as well. Actually, when you do the four session guru yoga, you can do it in your own language. You can, if you're Chinese, you can do it in Chinese. If you speak English, you can do it in English, uh, whichever language is fine. But if you have the interest, then you can also, uh, uh, I've re read it in Tibetan, and you can also follow along with that. Ane. Misse so tomorrow we will have the instructions and in, for the instructions if you have a book if you have a text already you can bring your text if you don't have a text then you can bring your phone actually we're going to allow you to bring phones I think it's difficult to bring iPads but phones should be okay uh, but of course you can't use your phones for the normal things you use, no taking pictures and so forth, but you can download the text. So if you, are, if you can't get a copy of the book, you can download the text and bring that with you tomorrow to the teaching and follow along on your phone. え、ケジャ but one thing you need to know is that the person who insisted that you be able to bring phones is me. Uh, and there are a lot of people have complained. You know, a lot of monks complain oh, that they, they can't bring their phones and they lose their phones. It's difficult. And for a lot of the lay people, it's also difficult. There's no place to store the phone. There's nothing, nowhere to put, leave the phone. And so uh, people have complained about that. But really, the person who's really insisted upon this uh, is me. But one thing you need to understand is that you can't use your phone to do anything against the rules. If you do anything against the rules, then, uh, then it's going to be, uh, then it's gonna be me who looks bad. And when the next meeting happens, I'll have nothing, uh, nothing left to say, and I'm just going to have to hide my face. Actually, we still have five minutes left, but I'm going to do a life release for those five minutes. <laughs>